Hi everyone, I'm Rena Nine and Hurricane Michael has made landfall in Florida and right now catastrophic category four storm is pounding Panama City with rain and powerful winds. Officials fear that Hurricane Michael could be the worst storm to ever hit the Florida panhandle. Watches and warnings are in effect. We've got live team all over the area up and down the state. We take you now to the director of the National Hurricane Center, Ken Graham, who has the latest. Um, Eastern, that means one o'clock central. Let's look at the latest information on Hurricane Michael. Made landfall, pressure 919 millibars, winds 155 miles an hour, um, and, and really pretty strong system continuing. A lot of damaging winds associated. So let's look at the radar. And you can see that eye wall making it on landfall, an eye wall wind warning issued by our weather forecast office in Tallahassee, meaning just incredibly dangerous situation associated with the winds right around that eye. And we also got Got to look in, in different areas as well. So some of these rain bands coming on shore, the tornado uh, possibility and some of the, the hurricane force gusts with those as well. So it's not just the center, it's well um, out from the center. Something else I definitely want to mention, if you happen to be in these areas, if you didn't leave and this eye comes through, it could momentarily get calm. But remember, you have the other side of the eye coming through. So stay safe, stay sheltered. It's a very dangerous situation. As you can see the sheer size, where is it going? And you look at the size of it and where, where the system is headed. Look at these uh, tropical storm force winds extending 175 miles away from the center and even around the center hurricane force winds 45 miles away. So we really need to not focus just on that center. You need to think of this as a as a large storm causing uh, a damage for a larger area um, than just the coast. So damaging right on the coast power outages because of these winds could last um, you know, several weeks. Just a serious situation catastrophic with uh, building damage trees down power outages, but not just the coast. We still expect hurricane force winds stretching on the Alabama Georgia uh, state line and even moving into central Georgia could still have some winds pretty close to hurricane strength. So if you take the rain and you take those winds, you can have power outages and trees down remaining dangerous through Georgia and in portions of uh, extreme southeast Alabama and also into the Carolinas. Taking a look at that rain, um, you can see just a, you know, a lot of flash flooding, really serious situation. Anytime you have these tropical uh, systems come in, the rainfall is very heavy, six to 10 inches of rain around the Florida panhandle up into portions of southeast Alabama, even into to Georgia. But look at this large area, four to six inches of rain. So that's where you're going to have some of those winds, some of the saturated soils, and could be dangerous even in, in the inland. We've been talking about this storm surge, and, and we're looking at some of the latest values coming in. Um, and it looks like we've already got seven point four uh, feet inundation over in uh, Apalachicola. So the storm surge uh, coming in with a vengeance. And even though the system's inland, you still can have that onshore flow pushing that water in. So just because the storm's inland, you're still not out of danger yet when it comes to that storm surge. We were forecasting and continue to forecast nine to 14 feet in areas from Tyndall, Tyndall Air Force Base over the Osceola River. Uh, think about that, that's inundation, nine foot to 14 foot above ground waves on top of it. And some of the images that we're seeing, you can see this water come in, but on top you still have those damaging uh, waves that can cause structural damage as well. So getting trapped in these pockets, you get these large amounts of uh, storm surge, even further away, well away from the center, you're still not safe. You can see elevated uh, values, six to nine foot above ground, all the way to Cedar Key, and even as far as Tampa, two to four feet uh, above ground. So that's just not on the coast. You can see some of the storm surge goes inland as that the, the winds continue to push uh, that water further inland. So this has been Ken Gray with the latest updates on a very dangerous 